I, I was doing commercials. Then I dropped out of the business, and for one year I did something else altogether. And then, of course, like every addict, and I'm addicted to Hollywood for sure and to making movies, um, I wanted to go back. So a, an old friend of mine who used to do commercials was working at, at MTM at the time. And she said, well, come and meet Abby Singer, who is totally a legend in our business. So I met Abby Singer, and we talked, and, so, and then he gave me a job on a pilot, which didn't sell. And then he calls me into his office and says, look, Boychik, literally, it's literally, there's these guys. They're really, no, they can't work with anybody. They're so difficult, you know, but they saw you work, and they had conversations, and they want to meet you. And I said, okay. So, I, you know, so in walks Greg Hoblet and, and, and um, Steve Bochco and uh, um, Michael Kozel. And those were the guys doing Hill Street Blues because they did a pilot, but they didn't like the UPM, and so they wanted to change. And so they said, we want you. I said, okay. And that was it. You know? And um, from there, it was literally, you know, I could say it's history, but it, it was just the most wonderful, exciting experience and experiment. Because they were doing things that were very documentary styled, if you wish. And I come out of the world of documentaries. I was doing documentaries since 1966. And so for me, it was just bringing everything I knew and blending and marrying and hobbled the same. And we were just open to run. And it was so much fun. So that first year was just magical. On, on Hill Street, we were, as producers, completely involved in the directing of the show because we'd walk the sets, we'd walk every shot with the directors. The, you know, we, we, had, we talked about tone, we talked about angles, about how to do those long five-minute masters that never cut, the wonders, as we call them. It completes you as, for me at least, it completes me as a storyteller. Because as a producer, you do so much, and then the director really takes over. Uh, so as a director, as a producer and director, you can actually do both and tell a story as you see it in your mind or in your soul or anywhere. <laughs> I have known Dom for over thir almost 30 years. Uh, he is the godfather of my son, who is now 21, almost 22. He is, uh, he's been part of the family, well, for about 30 years. So I've known him for a very long time, both as an actor, now as a writer, and, uh, and as a friend, and who he's just golden as all three. We truly, we truly really want to make this movie. It's going to be great fun, and in order to do that, we need your help. Anything will help us, and hopefully, it'll help you when you see it and you laugh, for we all could use one. <laughs>